Ooh, what's up, guys? Of course, welcome to our Wi Fi battle with your true, of course, Death Scarender, and also for all you ladies there. Hey, today we're going up against Kalaskar, I don't know, as Mad Young, and this is actually another Swedish Pokemon player, so we weren't really that many, so I'm glad that I have one of these guys around. He's very, very good at Wi Fi battling, and I actually have a huge respect for this guy for that very reason. And he actually went up against Shaded Penguin the other day. So if you want to see this team against Shaded Penguin, you should definitely check out well Shaded Penguin's channel, sadly, and not Call Oscar. I really hope he figures something out in the future. But if not, you know, that's fine. He's still a very, very good player. And like I said, it's great having him around. And then looking into his team here, we got Yuxi, Archaeops, Hippopotas, Carbink, Valplume, and Wigglytuff. So quite chunky. Archaeops seems to be the obvious sweeper. But besides that, Kind of slow team and really, really thick. I myself using Luminion, Lunatune, Cactus, Muck, Mist Mime, and Noctowl. And actually, all my Pokemon are offensively oriented, so I have no real wall. Uh, Noctowl has some natural bulk to it, but there's where it all ends. Mist Mime is Assault Vested. But yeah, not really. The rest of them are really sweeper based. Even Luminion, to some fashion, is actually choice abandoned. Uh, yeah, you'll see how that works. But uh, yeah, I had to try something new, and it has defog, so it's um, it's a defogger. Uh, so you know, I like that. I like that. Um, just going into this battle, I was really predicting him to start off with the Yuxi, so I thought I could start with my Luminion. Let's go for a choice pad at U-turn. So with all this, my guys, let's go. So right, I did not really get the most optimal play here because, like I said, I start off with the Luminion. He's gonna start with the Wigglytuff. And I knew the Wigglytuff is kind of frail, so I decided that, you know what, go for a waterfall, you know, look at the damage, see if it's something we can work with. Ugh, it's one thought, basically, and the Hyper Voice does fairly much more than my waterfall, or waterfall does, so I had to kind of get out of there. I think he felt the same way, not when I risked um, the potential flinge, and I would probably win the match if that were to happen, so he wanted to take a Pokemon in with resisted damage, which is a Valplume, and... Um, I basically want to try to one-shot this thing, and oh, hey, should probably have life from this thing because of that. So now we know. Now we know. Uninvested Valplume can actually live a psychic. While it's not a whole lot, it still it pulls that off, and that's bad. We can't really have anything of that. So he's gonna switch out here, not feeling safe because I will obviously take it out. And he got Fury, which is Yuxi, and it can soak this all day. Uh, that is not gonna work, and I have nothing to hit this thing super effectively whatsoever. Um, I guess my strongest move besides this is actually Moonblast and uh, what do you call it? Uh, Earth Power. So I won't do any magic, I decided to switch out to Luminion, and I'm gonna go for Choice Bandit uh, U turn. And uh, you know what, guys? You know, <laughs> I really want this thing to work, I really do. But, uh, yeah, Yuxi is still, like, very, very, very thick, and it takes this really good, and, um, I, I got nothing of this. Basically, I know that Alista, which is my Mr. Mime, can kind of, like, meet it one-on-one, -on -one, but that is all we got. But he's gonna pull a John on me, so I don't really want this thing to go to sleep, I just, I don't. So I have to switch out yet again, actually, so even though it's Stealth Rocks are up, I kinda have to deal with that, um, he's gonna get left to recover and what, what, whatsoever really. So I decided that you know, I can go to my Luminion, go for a Defog, then go to my Noctowl. Uh, Noctowl actually has um, Insomnia, which means I'm unaffected by the Dijon. And good thing he went for a knockoff here, because that means I can actually pull a double here. Go for first of Defog and then go for U-turn. So Choice Pad is really not in my favor this battle, and it really sucks to be honest. And he's gonna go for another knockoff, not having a stab move, probably his last move is probably U-turn if I had to guess. So, um, as you guys see, the Yuxi is just, it's not gonna fall, there is no way. Wait, I did not go for a waterfall, decided, or a U-turn, I decided to sack this thing off. And when I have sacked it, I just score a crit. Uh, it doesn't matter, but um, it's still, you know, what the hell, <laughs> what's the hell about. So, um, like I said, Noctowl's gonna enter fray here. And Noctowl, due to his set, I know that my Hector or Noctowl can kind of deal with this whatsoever. He's gonna set up another layer of rocks there, and they're here to stay now because I don't have a defogger. 
I just go for air slash. I really was hoping I was going to have speed. That's why I decided to go for the air slash. It obviously is not enough. And since I aren't out speeding, Hyper Voice is actually the superior move since I can't miss and a better stab. He's going for knock off and knocking off my life orb, which is fine by me, honestly. And um, the Hyper Voice is close of killing him, but he barely lives with 2 HP if I remember correctly. So I think I took the time here to actually go for a roost because I need my Noctowl in, you know, as good a position as ever. Hector is really pulling through, being a heavyweight. Throughout the stream, really, this Noctowl just kicked it out of the park. What a good Pokemon, really. Very, very underappreciated. You can definitely soak a few hits and retaliate. Very good with both Hyper Voice, Air Slash, and Heat Wave. I really like it. I really do. So, the awful Corbink is here, the Outlaw. And Corbink is one of those Pokemons that I really like myself, but I never really got to work. Um, he's actually using a Call Mindset. And one thing about Corbring that's worth mentioning, it got some really, really good defenses. Well, you know, it's HP and a special attack and attack are in 50 base. Its defenses is 150. Here's the Shuckle of the Fairies. And um, yeah, even an Earth Power hitting super effectively. That is like 20% at best. And it's gonna retaliate with a Moonblast. And due to, well, I guess you should say Corbring not being that. that hard hidden he I'm actually gonna lift that and retaliate for one more hit before going down so my Luna is gonna fall for a moon yeah that's a thing so anyway I'm gonna lose my Luna tune here which is bad yes but at the same time I really didn't really want to use it anymore besides that so I gotta go to Alistair uh, Alistair has the Psy Shock so I don't really need to worry about coal mines I can have one shot in this range uh, I am fully invested in special attack and I was a bit unsure whether or not this would kill uh, it would have killed no matter what, but still, Carping, what a, what a, just hopeless Pokemon, so god and chunky. So anyway, the agent, the um, Archeops is entering, and I am not a huge fan of Archeops, not gonna lie. So I decided to sack off Noctowl because it's not gonna help me out anymore, really. It, you know, it has been working so far, and I needed a safe switching, and I was not in the mood of sacking my Mr. Mime just yet. So, uh, due to Hector being heavily special defensively and not defensive, he is gonna fall here, and you know, that's fine. So I decided to go into Nullsaur, which is my Cacton, and I basically want to go for a Sucker Punch, so he was in the range of Defeatist, which would have meant that it wouldn't hurt as much for my next switch in. But he's gonna switch into Diva, you know, that's fine. I have a jab for him that has been waiting far too long, and I actually score a crit here. But really now, I don't think it matters. I am fully invested in attack, and that's a super effective move against the Quigletuff. It's gonna go down. It's just, there is no way. So he's gonna bring Earth here, setting up the Sandstream. Basically, I think he did this just to actually get the special defense up to Archeops, so it can deal with me. I go for the Giga Drain, and it's one of those hits are enough. Uh, and as you might guess, there, my, I have a mixed set with my Cacton. It's really good, really mean. I love it. And of course, I'm gonna be buffed by the sandstorm because I water absorbing this. So he's gonna send up his agent yet again, and I am forced to go for a sucker punch. Like I said, just want to defeat his range. That is really all I need, and it's it hits down the park. It really does. And acrobatics, of course, just gonna destroy him here. There's just no way. There's no way I'm gonna live that. And well, I took this time to bring Ashtor, which is the muck, the Hayden set muck, to be honest, which is. Um, 252 in attack and uh, curse it. So I decided to have to go for an ice punch. I thought it would start attacking me. He will actually stall me out, or not stall me out, but more in that fashion of you know roosting because when he roosts, he gets he gets uh, beyond his defeatist range. You know that's fine. So I predicted here another roost, which meant that uh, he was forced attack next time. And really, I needed the bulk. Like if something was gonna happen now, it's gonna be the bulk here. And I was not in a very very good position. I only had my Muck left and my Mr. Mime, so we are free for two as right now. And I was really, really worried whether or not Acrobatics would one shot me or not, and I couldn't, I couldn't risk anything really to be honest. So this time I knew it was gonna attack me, so I went for Nice Punch. If I live this, I will be able to retaliate, and it doesn't do as much as I thought it would, which is great because that means that the agent is gone. Very glad that thing wasn't banded, and they will have had Power Herb set instead, because 
that thing got scary way faster than it was to. So Fury is gonna enter, you know, Fury can't really do a whole lot, they're gonna Shadow Sneak on him, he can't outspeed me, and he's gonna fall. And his last Pokemon is the Valplume, and um, yeah, Valplume can't really do a whole lot to a monster that is Muck. So um, he is actually gonna try here to go for a Moonlight, I probably think he was hoping that I didn't pack a stab move because they didn't pack a stab move. It might be very likely that poison jab might be a three hit KO at the worst. But I have a one curse up, which means that you know I'm I'm kind of dangerous. And with ice punch, yeah, it's pretty darn close of one shotting really. So um, he's just going to accept his fate, you know, going for the last effort damage, seeing if you know anything going going into dent for for the muck. He's gonna go for the Giga Drain, and muck just say nope. You know what, you can't do that, it doesn't work like that, I'm a muck, I'm all sludge, I don't have any life in me, and I gotta give you a frozen jab from <laughs> Navelheim, and you uh, dare is where wild boom falls. So yeah, I won here 2-0, which of course is, um, I'll actually say this, it was a closer game than I thought it would, um, I really really struggled against this team, because it had so many good responses to my team, and it was Barely that I actually pulled this thing off. So yeah, I mean, I, re I really like this battle. I think it was very straightforward and um, not a lot of ending thoughts really. Uh, I don't really have that. I was glad Cacton worked the way it did. Um, my opponent could have easily set up a few other things. Start off with Hippopotas way earlier than it did, but I think my sets kind of threw him off. Uh, Cacton with Poison Jab, you know, Luna Tune hitting quite hard. Uh, were a lot of those sets, Knock Towel completely locking down the, um, the Yuke Seed, were a lot of just straight lockdowns where I, I would win the stall out, and I think a lot of those kind of kept the momentum at the minimum for my opponent, because he could set up against me, and hell, even a Carbink, to some extent, had <laughs> a very interesting set going in. I was really glad it wasn't the rest of Shesto, Carbink, um, that is something I probably should try myself. It's super mean with Moonblast uh, power. That's all you need. Carbon is such a stud, such a perfect feast. You know, I really, I really like this Pokemon. Like I said, I really want to try that on my own, and uh, I'll be damn sure to use one soon. Uh, and also, Magic, I'm thankful for that battle. I think it was very, very enjoyable. I'm, I'm glad you had the time to battle me. So, thank you so much for that. And for everybody else who have been watching, don't leave a like, of course, as always. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and remember, the sky is the limit. So, um, yeah, so have a good day, guys, and take care, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.